Howdy y'all, welcome to Nerd Studio. So today we're doing final thoughts on the Canik 55 or Kinnick, Kinnick 55 TP9. You know, I've got about mm, 750 rounds through this now. Um, this gun is as reliable as any other handgun I've uh, had that number of rounds through. Uh, it has no more issues with ammunition than any of my other pistols, including a Glock. I think it's reliable enough to say that I would put this in my nightstand and defend my home with it. Um, the, the couple, here's a couple of things I don't like about the gun. The trigger is different. It's different than every other striker fired gun I've shot. It has, this is empty, it has this strange take up and it has uh, almost this two-stage effect to the trigger. That being said, it is very cool that you can fire double action out of a striker-fired gun. So um, I think if I trained with this gun and made this my primary gun, uh, I would get over that quickly. So I don't think that's a barrier to actually buying or, or using or uh, anything to detract from the value of the pistol. It's just... Uh, not like every other pistol I've got and it isn't going to be my primary defense weapon. So um, Every time I shoot it. I'm, I'm it takes me a little bit to get used to the trigger again uh, Other than that it came with nice accessories. It came with a holster. It came with two magazines. Uh, these are Megar Magazines are great quality the gun feels um, You know the fit and finish feels good. I have noticed there's some some little flaws like around here on the slide there's a little piece of plastic tab hanging off you know for the for what you're gonna pay for this gun I think you can overlook that pretty easily the function of the of the gun is just terrific uh, it's held up well the finish is held up well I banged it around in in bags and in my gun safe and on my my table and holsters and it just hasn't had a problem uh, I haven't noticed any significant scratching or, or dings to the finish and I haven't been nice to it so I'm pretty impressed with that. What I have learned about this pistol is not only is it the knockoff of the Walther P99 but apparently the Smith & Wesson uh, SW99 so those are uh, apparently the same design pistol. This follows that design almost exactly with the difference of the ambidextrous, ambidextrous uh, decocker. Okay, well, let's uh, let's shoot a few rounds. So we'll talk about uh, accuracy, at least as I see it. Okay, well, what's left to say? I, I'm as accurate with this gun as I am anything else. You can see uh, as I start out that uh, the, my first few shots I'm getting sort of readjusted to the trigger. Uh, that happens every time I bring this gun out just because the trigger is so different. Uh, you can see I pull my shots low and left. Most of these guns with a, a fairly stiff trigger, that's where I shoot them. The Glock I tend to shoot just left, I don't pull low. The Walther PPQ, I'm uh, more can shoot more of the bullseye. Uh, my FN guns, uh, anything in that line with uh, sort of the you know nice crisp combat trigger, I, I tend to shoot low and left. I, you know when I try and run the gun flat out, I was doing all right. I heard the heard the steel ping pretty regularly, and you know that's about as good as I do uh, running a gun flat out. What's all that say? Would this, and I got asked this a lot so far in this series of videos, would this be the gun I'd go to uh, out of the guns that I have if I, comparing it to my Glock or my FN or the Walther PPQ, if I needed to defend myself, if I needed to defend myself in the house, 
Uh, honestly, with my skill set right now, I would grab this gun before the Walther PPQ. The Walther has a much lighter trigger, and uh, you know, I know a little bit about what it's like to try and operate a gun uh, when you're when you're under stress. You handshake, and you've got the adrenaline running. Uh, for somebody that is at my level of experience with a pistol, um, not a rifle, but a pistol, I want a trigger that's going to be a little less forgiving or a little stouter. So I would actually grab this gun before I would go to that Walther. Six months of shooting the Walther, um, maybe not, but right now that's the case. Um, I've got about 500 rounds to the Walther PPQ. Now, the, between the Glock and the FN, pistols like that, um, now I'm going to pick up the Glock and I'm going to pick up the FN uh, before this one. Mainly because um, I have more practice with that style trigger. Not really a quality issue. This gun is worth every penny you pay for it and then some. Uh, but that would be my, my order. I, I would pick up my Glock probably before uh, just about anything to defend my home. Uh, for concealed carry, this gun's too large. It's too large for my body to hide it. It's not something I would pack. Um, for, you know, driving around on the tractor, you need something to, to carry, you know, in a vehicle. Uh, your trips around the farm, this is a fantastic buy. You, if you're a farmer and you get a bunch of tractors, you know, you run three or four of them, I see a lot of these farmers do, and you need, you want to stick a pistol in every, in, in every tractor, Boy, you couldn't get much more of a bargain uh, than the Kinect 55 TP9. So those are my thoughts. I think it's a great purchase. I, th I think you're, it's not definitely not a waste of money. The gun looks cool. It's got great features. It's a lot of fun to shoot. It's reliable. Um, and it's a whole lot of quality for the money. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, that's really going to be the, the, the final video on the Kinect. And, uh, you know, always, as always, come on and, and feel free to drop me a line. Uh, comment on the videos. I'm having a blast watching what you get, what your experiences have been with this gun. Or uh, if you have any questions, please uh, ask them in the in the comments or come join me on Facebook. Uh, be happy to carry on the conversation. Hey, as always, remember everyone can shoot. If I can do it, you can do it, and uh, you can do it well, and that's a lot of fun. All right, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.